Hey guys, welcome to Math with Morse. My name is Ryan Morse, and today I will be teaching you in a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to answer a grade 12 advanced function trigonometric function question. The question I will be teaching you today can be found in chapter 6, page 345, number 9, grade 12 new advanced functions textbook. We will be using trig function concepts that were taught in grade 11, such as amplitude, equation of axis, period, phase shift, and base properties of cos, tan, and sine. Furthermore, we will also be using trig concepts taught in grade 12, such as 180 equals pi. The question states, each person's blood pressure is different but here is a range of blood pressure values that is considered healthy. The function p of t equals negative 20 cos 5 pi over 3 x plus 100 models the blood pressure p in millimeters of mercury at time t in seconds of a person at rest. A base cos graph can be modeled by the equation f of x equals a times cos times b x minus h plus k. First off, let's identify the values of a, b, h, and k of this cos function. The equation of axis, or k value of this function, is 100. This means the graph is shifted vertically by 100 units. The a value, or amplitude, of this graph is negative 20, which indicates two things. The cos function is negative, meaning we're beginning at the minimum value rather than the maximum, and that the maximum and minimum values are 20 units above and below 100. This means the maximum and minimum values are 120 and 80. There is no h value of this function, meaning the graph does not undergo a phase shift to the left or right. The reason for this is because the time starts at 0 and the graph starts at 0. Therefore, there is no phase shift. Lastly, the b value is 5 pi over 3. This brings us to part A of the question. Part A of the question asks, what is the period of the function? What does the period represent for an individual? To find the period of a trigonometric function, we must divide 2 pi by the b value. In this case, the b value is 5 pi over 3. Since we're dividing 2 pi by a fraction, we must flip the fraction and multiply. Therefore, we are multiplying 2 pi by 3 over 5 pi. This results in 6 pi over 5 pi. The pi's cancel out, leaving us with 6 over 5, or 1.2. Based on the context of this question, the period represents the time interval between each heartbeat. This means an individual's heartbeat beats once every 1.2 seconds. Part B of the question asks, how many times does this person's heart beat each minute? To find the answer to this, we will need to use the answer we got in part A of the question. Using the period 1.2 seconds, we can find out how many times does this person's heart beat each minute, as a minute is equal to 60 seconds. We already know the person's heart beats once every 1.2 seconds, so, so we must divide 60 seconds by the period. This gives us an answer of 50. This means this person's heart beat beats once 50 times per minute. Part C of the question asks, sketch the graph of y equals p of t for t must be greater than or equal to 0, such as less than or equal to 6. The first thing we have to do to sketch this graph is to create a table for the x and y coordinates of a base cos graph. Then we apply the transformations to the x and y coordinate. The first transformation is to multiply the x coordinate by 1 over b, or in this case, 3 over 5 pi. The second transformation, we must multiply the y coordinate by the a value, which is negative 20. The next transformation is to add the h value to the x coordinate. In this case, there is no h value, so the x coordinate remains unchanged. For the last transformation, we must add the k value to the y coordinate, which is 100. Here we have all the x and y coordinates for the first cycle. 
we must repeat these coordinates for five more cycles to reach six seconds. Now that we have our x and y coordinates, we can begin to plot the graph. The equation of axis is at 100, the maximum value is 120, the minimum value is 80. I split the graph into intervals of 1.2 because the period is 1.2. That means the graph completes one cycle in 1.2 seconds. the question asked, what is the range of the function? Explain the meaning of the range in terms of the person's blood pressure. The range of this function is y can equal any number real such that y must be greater than or equal to 80 such that y must be less than or equal to 120. The reason for this is because the maximum value is 120 and the minimum value is 80. The context of this question, 80 represents the minimum blood pressure of the person and 120 represents the maximum blood pressure. Now you're probably wondering, when am I ever going to use this in real life? Luckily, I have some real life examples. One real life example in the use of trig functions are in oceanography. Oceanographers use sine and cos functions to measure high and low tide throughout the day to find ideal times to conduct their research. Another example of trig functions being used in real life is when a doctor measures your blood pressure. Like in the question we just did, a coast graph can be used to show a person's systolic and systolic blood pressure. And that's it. Thank you for listening to my tutorial on how to solve a grade 12 advanced functions trigonometric functions question.